The Politico. Headline. The week Mike Pence's 2016 dreams crumbled. Or, subheadline, mission accomplished. The Indiana governor, potential GOP presidential candidate, is caught in a surprise culture war. It's by Adam Wren. With the black marble of the Indiana House of Representatives behind him, Governor Mike Pence in January trumpeted a laundry list of accomplishments achieved in the first half of his first term. Two balanced budgets, a falling unemployment rate, more than 100,000 new jobs created. It seemed the predicate for a potential 2016 presidential run. Just balancing the budget is enough to make the media feel threatened by him. And just creating 100,000 jobs, that was enough to make him the enemy of the media. Well, yeah, because when Obama's out killing jobs and looking bad and inept, a Republican governor comes along and looks good, that's, that's reason enough to tar and feather the guy. Basking in the glow of the moment back in January, Pence dropped his customary aw shucks Hoosier persona and let himself brag. He said, tonight there are 49 other governors across this country who wish they could be me. Well, maybe then, but not anymore, says the Politico. Not three short months later, amidst the biggest crisis of his political life, that line rings comical. And so what we have here, my friends, the Politico continues to let the cat out of the bag. Now, I realize this this phony crisis was created to try to put any potential Republican candidates into a bind. But what I didn't know, I didn't realize that the Democrats and the media saw Mike Pence as a possible candidate. They obviously did. And they made the decision to take him out. And he didn't he didn't do much to help himself. He played along with their effort to take him out. But seizing on Indiana now, as far as the drive-bys and the, and, the, and, the, and the Democrats are concerned, it makes more sense. The only thing that would have been better for them, if they could do this to Scott Walker, and I think they are still salivating and dreaming about being able to do that. We'll just have to keep a sharp eye. I want to get back to more phone calls as this hour uh, progresses. And I do have a roster of sound bites I want to get to that are related to things that we've already discussed, but I still want to get.